Good morning. I want to start with a play this week and something I've been lucky enough to see earlier in the week at the Court Theatre in Christchurch. Now, it's called Astro Man. It's a glorious look at 1980s New Zealand. Jimmy, who's the central character, takes us on a wee bit of a tour of 1980s Whakatane, but it's got a beautiful story as well. So Jimmy is sort of a bit of a troublemaker. Um, his family basically have to tra go from Gizzy to Whakatane to escape some of his indiscretions. But it turns out he's actually a bit of a genius. And so we see that all unfold and finally his family come to realise it too. But I caught up with Nancy, who's the director, and Tola, who plays Jimmy, to tell me more about Astro Man. It was a time when really conservative Kiwi people mm -hmm. <laughs> suddenly realised how big the world was. Mm -hmm. And then um, and the, the possibilities were endless. Um, a little box that shot little aliens you had control of, you know, it was like you were in space. <laughs> um, you were changing the world. You were saving you know, the country from alien attacks. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, being a teenager, I guess that's kind of like um <clears throat> how, how we saw our future was that it was bigger and brighter and it wasn't just nature, it was technology and it was growing and and we could go to space and mm. come back. Astro Man <laughs> is a really delightful little piece of New Zealand theatre and our people sitting around me and there's some colourful language in there but there were quite an elderly couple next door and they totally got it. It's just, it's a lovely production. Now on to the movies and I think the one that most people have been talking about for some, about for some time now is Bohemian Rhapsody and this of course is Freddie Mercury's story or the Queen's story. Rami Malek is the guy who is playing Freddie Mercury and bouquets for him. Everyone is saying good things about Rami. Mark Martel, who of course we've had here on the cafe, his singing apparently is just outstanding, which we've already had a bit of a taster of and yeah, it is. But people not necessarily raving about this and I think it might be down to expectation. I think people were expecting some sort of really deep, gritty, uh, almost dramatised documentary of the life of Freddie Mercury but it seems like it's a bit more fun than that. People are using the word sanitised. So I think you go into it with the spirit of it being uh, maybe more of a poppy kind of movie than that deep sort of gritty thing that you were looking for. Have a look though. Do it again. One more. How many more Galileos do you want? Roger, there's only room in this band for one hysterical queen. Mark these words. No one will play a queen. And from Bohemian Rhapsody on to something for the kids and charming, can you even imagine what would happen if Snow White, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty ended up engaged to the same Prince Charming. Well, this is exactly what would happen. In this, of course, Demi Lovato, Sia, Ashley Tisdale, Avril Lavigne, and John Cleese. Great one for the kids this weekend. True love must be earned by running the gauntlet of three impossible tasks. One, crossing impassable paths. Hang on! Two, survive an unsurvivable attack. We're dead. Hello there. You delicate little flowers. Wow. I got you. Three, conquer an unconquerable beast. Let's do this. Well, that played out differently in my mind. That is it for entertainment this week here on The Cafe. We'll catch you next week.